Date, time, and temperature. Tuesday, February the 7th, 9.26 a.m. at 28 degrees, which is a lot warmer than the negative 10 degrees that the Boston area was experiencing this past weekend. I'll take 28 over negative 10 any day. But for today's detour, we kind of need those frigid cool temperatures and icy conditions. Our best chance for a coating of snow, sleet, or freezing rain, so some snow and some glaze, Worcester to the Merrimack Valley, parts of 495 in northern Massachusetts. You're watching. For today's detour, we had to leave the state of Massachusetts, cross over state lines into the great state of New Hampshire for one of my favorite detours that I take every year this time of year. Today, my friends, I am taking you to the Ice Castles of New Hampshire, plus a couple extra stops on the way to the Ice Castles. Our first pit stop for today is going to be down here at Weir's Beach place that I spent a lot of summers growing up as a kid. Right behind these snow banks is Weir's Beach and right in front of me is Lake Winnipesaukee which obviously this time of year is all frozen over but if you were to come here during the summertime you could take a pretty sweet cruise on the Mount Washington cruise ship which leaves from the dock right over there. There's nobody taking a voyage on the Mount Washington cruise ship today nor is there anybody enjoying a slice of pizza or playing the penny arcades or Riding the bumper cars out here at the Weir's Beach Boardwalk. The Weir's Beach Drive-In Movie Theater is definitely not open and operational today. I've seen a few movies on those outdoor big screens over the years. Whenever I'm in the Lakes Region area of New Hampshire, I always got to stop by this place. It's the world's largest video game arcade, and it happens to be the home of the Video Game Hall of Fame. And I just so happen to have a bag of tokens in my car from my last visit to Fun Spot. So I can go in here and play some Donkey Kong, some Frogger, you name it, they got it. You can find Fun Spot right over here in Laconia, New Hampshire. Check out all these classic video games. Isn't this place awesome? They got everything here. They got Rampage. They got all the Pac-Mans. Zaxxon. They got Popeye and all the Donkey Kong games. It's at this console right here where Steve Wiebe and Billy Mitchell competed in Donkey Kong action for the world's highest Donkey Kong score. You've seen that documentary, right? The King of Kong? Speaking of which, let's play some Donkey Kong. There he is, Mr. Kong himself. It's kind of hard to play with one hand. Uh... Oh, who doesn't love Galaga, right? I actually have Galaga at my house. It's part of my Miss Pac-Man machine that I have. I mean, who doesn't love Galaga and Miss Pac-Man? It's definitely hard to play with one hand. Let's play some classic Pac-Man. I definitely got to talk about this awesome 80s music. I feel like I'm back in the 80s here where, you know, playing these classic arcade games and then pumping in this classic 80s music right here. Uh-oh, watch out for them ghosts. Check out that big version of Space Invaders. They got a bunch of amazing pinball machines here as well. Kiss. That's sick. Close Encounters of the Third Kind and the Harlem Globetrotters. Over here is the Ackham, the American Classic Arcade Museum. What I called it earlier. I think I called it the Video Game Hall of Fame. No, it's the Classic Game Museum. And check out all these classic games in here. Oh, before I leave, you know I gotta play Frogger. I love me some Frogger. It's been a while. The kids still got it. That was fun stopping in Fun Spot for just a couple minutes. I got to make another pit stop or two before we hit the Ice Castles. Right down the street from Fun Spot is a place that I normally would have had lunch at today if it wasn't a Tuesday. Last year I came up here, did not know that they were closed on Tuesdays. It was a Tuesday on my last visit. Unfortunately, I didn't get to have that amazing turkey dinner tastes just like Thanksgiving night. I used to say Hearts Turkey Farm where it's Thanksgiving 365 days a year. Well, I learned last year that they're closed on Tuesdays. So how many Tuesdays are in a year? 52. So 365 minus 52 Thanksgiving days a year. Did that make any sense? I am totally cool with Hearts Turkey Farm being closed today on this Tuesday because that gives me an excuse to come back to the amazing Route 104 Diner here on the side of the road of Route 104. This is an awesome place. It's just, it's like a 50s diner right here in New Hampshire. It's 
so unlike me, I got the ice cold fountain drink, a Coca Cola, in fact. Instead of getting that ice cold Bud Light or a Miller Light, they got beers here. They also got some tasty looking pies over there as well. The question is, what do I get? Last time I got the burger, the burger was amazing. Do I got a diner staple? Do I get a Homestyle Classic? Kind of got my eye on that roast beef sandwich. And that's what we're working with. A little open face roast beef sandwich. Mm. Well, that was delicious. My tummy is full of roast beef and Coca-Cola. Now we get head to today's detour. In 5.9 miles, take exit 32, State Route 112, North Woodstock, Lincoln. All right, we just arrived at the Ice Castles. It's a little bit after 5 p.m. My my arrival time window is between 5 and 5.30. You got to buy them like that between 4 to 4.30, 4.30 to 5, 5 to 5.30, you know, until closing. It's a, You get a half an hour grace period for your window. I plan on being here till about 7, 7.30 before it starts heavily snowing. I don't want to be caught in a snow drift on the way back to Boston. So hopefully we can see everything there is to do and see here at the Ice Castles in the next, I don't know, two, two and a half hours. Here are the hours and the prices for the ice castles here in Woodstock, New Hampshire. Welcome to the ice castles. The journey begins here. Check this out. Still kind of light out, so the, all the lights aren't popping quite yet, but uh, we still got a couple hours here to explore. Pretty sure that's Cinderella's carriage in ice form. Check it out, they're doing sleigh rides over here. Let's 
check out the tubing hill. Oh, this is brand new this year. All right, here's the deal with the Polar Pub. Brand new bar up here at the Ice Castles. It's a bar literally made out of ice. Hey, guys. Hi. Grab myself an ice cold Coors Light, my man. Ooh, that's a cold Coors Light. We were just talking about it. Address and phone number. You know, we couldn't come to New Hampshire without seeing a moose, even if it's in ice form. If you dig ice sculptures, stay tuned. I'll be heading back to Salem for the annual ice sculpture festival. Salem, Massachusetts, always a good weekend. There is the ice castles. Ice castle. Check this guy out just monkeying around. This is a gargoyle over here. It's pretty cool. Again, pun intended. Kind of reminds me of Pazuzu from The Exorcist. The ice sculptures continue. Right here is the state of New Hampshire in ice form. Let's go check out the Mystic Forest Light Walk Trail. starting to sleet. I think I'm going to start taking off pretty soon so I don't get caught in that weather. Well, that's going to be it for this detour documenting the ice castles of New Hampshire 2023. February vacations right around the corner for the kids. Ice Castle is a great place to take the kids, take the family during the vacation break. Heck, leave the kids at home. Take the wife, take the husband. Go up and enjoy the castles by yourself. Do some adulting. There's some amazing ski hills in the area as well. Have a couple cold ones by the fireplace. I don't know. Just go check out the Ice Castles. It's, it's a cool time. I'm going to give a big shout out to those Patreon supporters that help support Detours by donating $5 monthly to my Patreon page. Big old shout out to Karen O'Reilly, Marshall Brown, Peter Dragalos, Dane Lavender, Steve Davis, C. Marie, David Goldman, Matthew Harton, Hubie Dubois, Vicente, Megan Milliman, Francis Arpea, Stephen Brady. Emilio Flores, Danielle Benedenti, Jeff Knutson, Jonathan Glass, John Bryson, Ron Crocker, Easy Eddie Z, Vesper and Ollie Anderson, Joel Riendo, Hales and Rue, James Schimmelman, and Tenacious Day. I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you guys for digging my videos enough. We want to give you five dollars a month. That's awesome. You're awesome. And cheers, my friends. You know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I always answer all the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to Detours. Click that red subscribe button. While you're clicking away, click that small bell. It'll give us a notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. I also have a Facebook group, Derek Millen's Detours. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour.